Good morning, boys and girls. We are here for our uh, new science lessons in third grade. Today is uh, Monday, Monday the 30th of, um, of March. So uh, the activities for today in sciences are these ones. The first ones is you, you have to watch this video. And, and I told you that please make sure to have your sciences uh, textbook and a dictionary, okay, to do the activities. The second activity is uh, I will check here in the video with you the homework on page 41, which is this one. We have this, this circle with the recommendations uh, of uh, food according to the Ministry of Health of Chile, Ministerio de Salud, and a couple of questions, questions A and B, regarding this, um, this circle of uh, food uh, recommendations, okay? So, uh, the first activity is write and draw. I, I, I chose to, to write because, I don't know, it's better for me, but you can, you can draw. The foods you would like, you would like to eat from each group on the chart proposed by the Ministry of Health. Okay, so for example, here in vegetables, you have you have a lot of uh, choices. But I wrote these three: I wrote carrots, I wrote um, a cabbage, and lettuce. In fruit, I wrote watermelon, apples, and strawberries. And in dairy, I wrote butter. In meat, pulses, and eggs, I wrote chicken, beans, and fish. In grains, I wrote cereal and rice. And finally, in oils, I chose olive oil. Okay, so I, I have completed. Remember, you can, you can also draw. Uh, and the questions. Let's check the questions. The first question is, why is it important to eat the quantities of food suggested by the Ministry of Health? And this could be a good answer. If you have this answer or something similar, it is correct. Because if we don't, we could have health problems such as obesity. Obesity is when you when you when you have more weight, more pounds, more kilos uh, than you should than recommended by the doctors. Okay, obesity, weakening of the bones or cavities. The cavities are las caries, and weakening of the bones is when your bones are not strong enough because of, for example, the lack of calcium, the lack of calcium. So that could be a good answer. If you have something like that, it is correct. If you have, if you have something too different, I please uh, delete it, rub it out, and write the answer I told you before. And B, the question is, what do you understand by a balanced diet? The answer from the book is this. A balanced diet refers to eating foods from all the groups in the quantities recommended. So if that's balance. You have to eat from all the different groups and also in the quantities recommended. In the quantities recommended. <clears throat> so that's the activity number two. I have my computer here, so that's why I'm looking at that side. Uh, the third activity is read and highlight the um, explanation about healthy and unhealthy food on page 22. So let's go to let's go back to page 22. Give me a second. <clears throat> Page 22 is this one. 
page 22, you have to read the information which is at the top with the title healthy and unhealthy food. So I will read it for you. Foods such as hamburgers, pizza and cake that are high in fat, salt and refined sugar are considered unhealthy and may damage, may damage your body if you eat them to excess. Damage is when you do something bad against your body, something negative. On the other hand, fruits, vegetables and pulses, pulses are beans, legumes, and legumes, are considered healthy foods, healthy foods. So, so, your body will stay, stay healthy if you eat them in normal or appropriate quantities. In normal or appropriate quantities. So when you finish doing that, you have to highlight two concepts. Not everything, two concepts. What is a what is a healthy what is healthy food and what is unhealthy food so you have to highlight only that line then you have to do exercise number 2 exercise number 2 on that page says look at the three different lunch options and you have option 1 you have a, a glass of uh, coke soda and a slice of pizza in option two, you have a bowl with legumes, with pulses, beans, or probably lentils, lentejas, and a glass of water. And in option three, you have uh, uh, French fries, and you have uh, some, uh, some chicken. And you have a glass of orange juice, probably. So uh, question A says, which of these three which of these lunches would someone following a balanced diet choose? So you have to mark only one. One is the best. Not so-so, the best. So which one do you think is uh, or belongs to a balanced diet? Which, which of these three um, lunches? Option one, two, or three. And you think. And question B says, eating which, eating which of these lunches to excess, if you eat it too much of what is recommended, could be a health risk, could be a health risk or, or a health danger. Option A, sorry, option one, option two, or option three. So you have to decide which one is the most dangerous if you eat it um, too frequent. Then um, the last uh, activity, oh, the, the, the next activity is exercise number two on page 22. Ah, that's, that's the one that we did. And then you have to do exercise three on page 23. So it's the next page, exercise 3. So in this one, you have to use your scissors and your stick fix or glue because you have to use the cutouts on page 207 to classify the groups or the foods or to put the foods in the correct um, group. And which are the groups? Of course, healthy foods. And unhealthy foods and you have um, four uh, different uh, foods or items of food you have a, a, a can of soda you have a, a bag of uh, chips or crisps you have uh, an apple and you have uh, a yogurt so you have to put them in the correct group then you have two questions the question a says give the names of two more foods food types for each group you have to give two more two more for healthy food and two more for unhealthy food so that's why you need your dictionary 
or if you remember, use your memory. And the question B says, what might, so that's a possibility, what might happen to someone, to a person like me or like you, who only eats unhealthy food, only eats unhealthy food? What could happen? What is the possibility that could happen? So you have to write uh, the result of uh, what could happen to a person eating too much health, sorry, unhealthy food. And those are, I think, the three activities for today. So or three or four activities for today. Uh, it's not so difficult. Um, the important thing is to remember the difference between healthy and unhealthy food. So remember to stay positive. Any questions or any doubts, WhatsApp or email. Bye-bye.